Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Last week we did the uh, chicken salad, which was delicious. Um, it's going to be another hot week, so we're going to make some ham salad. Uh, not your typical ham salad, it's how I make it, it's how I enjoy it. Um, if you guys think it's good, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment down below. But uh, over that, uh, we're going to get cooking, so... Sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy the show. All right, y'all. Let's get this here started. Uh, now I'm going to say right off the bat, I usually use leftover ham from like around the holidays and stuff, but I wasn't going to bake a ham, and uh, I'm hungry for some ham salad, so... I just picked up some of the pre-chopped, finely chopped uh, ham from the grocery store. And this is two pounds, because, you know, I want a bunch. So, you know, kind of break that up a little bit. And now we're going to add uh, about uh, two stalks of the... Uh, celery, the other half of our red onion that we chopped up for our chicken salad. Now I'm going to put some sweet pickle relish in here because I like sweet pickle relish in my ham salad. I don't like it in my chicken salad but I like it in my ham salad so we're going to put a couple, couple two, three good scoops of that in there. All right. We got that. Let's get some mayonnaise in here. Put a few good, uh, probably two or three cups at least. We'll adjust after we uh, get the mix in here for the wetness. I'm running low on mayonnaise. But I got another jar, don't worry about that. Should say this jar is running low. We're just gonna clean that out. It's probably that's probably three cups there. I just I want to want to use up the rest of my mayonnaise out of this jar. So okay, now what I do different than 99.9 percent of everybody is, I put some horseradish mustard in here. Now. You can use Dijon, you can use yellow mustard. I just like, I like the horseradish myself. Just gives it a unique flavor. Of course, we've got to put a little, little black pepper in there too. Just because that, you know, it makes it, uh, makes it better. So, all right. Let's see if we, uh, see if we can get this mixed up here without making a mess of the stove. See, it's already escaping. Try to get down in there and get all that goodness off the bottom, get everything all coated good, scrape the sides, you know. Do all the good stuff. Get up through that center. Make sure there's nothing stuck in the middle. That's going to be a big chunk of stuff. I like I like these salads. I mean, this uh, you know weather we've been having, being real hot and everything. This is super easy to make. You know, tastes great. You know, today we're going to have it on. Uh, some, uh, uh, I forget what those are, um, croissants, yeah, we're going to make them on some croissants, but just a nice cool meal for a hot day, so, all right, that's it, we got it all, all mixed up there, so, um, 
I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator, let it sit for about oh, about an hour, let it kind of firm up, you know, get everything good and cold. I mean, everything was cold coming right out of the refrigerator, but you know, just kind of let it congeal. So we're gonna do that, and we'll bring you all back and do the uh, taste test. All right, y'all. Let this stuff sit in the refrigerator for a while, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna make ourselves up a sandwich here. Of course, I got my croissant, you know. I'm just gonna pack a little bit on there. It's probably gonna fall out everywhere, but you know. All right, here we go. All right, so got my sandwich made. Let's uh, get turned around here. We'll do our little taste test. Alright y'all, the moment hopefully you all have been waiting for, but I know I've been waiting for it, we're going to do our taste test. Got our croissant sandwich here. Mmm. Y'all, that is delicious. Sorry about that, I had to wipe my mouth. That's delicious. Crunchiness, you know, of course, of the veggies. That slight hint of that uh, horseradish mustard. Don't knock it till you try it. It is delicious. Um, you know, that it goes so well with the ham. You know, it's one of my favorite mustards. So, but uh, yeah, um, that's another super simple, easy recipe in these hot days. Um, hope you all are going to try it. Um, if you do, please. Give me a comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, ring the bell. Get all the notifications. It's free. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it does help the channel out. You know, the more su subscribers, the more YouTube puts it out. You know, the more I can, you know, the more I enjoy doing these videos. I mean, not, not that I don't enjoy doing them, but the more subscribers I have, the more people that view them. You know, it just, it's awesome. So. And we just hit 4,000 subscribers. Or, you know, almost to my goal. The goal of this year was 5,000. We only hit the 5,000 mark. We're halfway through the year. Hopefully, we'll push. And hopefully, we can get another 1,000 subscribers in six months. Probably not going to happen. I usually get about 100 a month. But we can always hope. So, share this video out. Get your friends to subscribe. You know, and the 90% of you that aren't subscribed that are watching the videos, Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, it's free. So anyways, I'm rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. As always, bear appetite.